How's it, Beryl? Hi, Helen. Hello, Ulu. Uh, Ulu is not here, and I might not be able to hear you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and do the whole class so that if you can see me, then we can go. But don't stress. You know most of it. Yeah, chill. Have you got your earplugs in? How's it, Kim? <laughs> no. All right. Hey, Threech. Okay. Are we in? Okay, wait, let me um spotlight my video. How there we go. Alright, and we're gonna start standing. And you've got choices. You can put your ball at the end of your mat so that you're not actually going to be lifting and lowering it if you're struggling with arms and shoulders, or you can pick it up and hold it against your solar plexus but that's entirely up to you so either you place it or you hold it the moves are going to be the same for everyone whatever you do press your elbows into your waist and hold your elbows at 90 degrees so that you've got this pressure into your waist from your arms and that starts working out the triceps so when you breathe in straighten your arms and bend your knees and when you breathe out pull it in close and straighten your legs inhale extend your arms bend your knees exhale and pull your elbows in close inhale extend and exhale to bend same story now coming up onto your toes straighten out your arms and exhale and then bend your elbows in and drop back down onto your heels inhale straight arms up onto your toes and exhale and bring your elbows in and drop back down onto your heels. Inhale, extend and exhale and drop back down again. Arms overhead. If you're using your ball, bend your elbows, keep them soft. Everybody drop your shoulders and then inhale, bend your knees and exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend and exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend and exhale, straighten. Stop and then rise onto your toes. Inhale up and exhale down. Keep stretching your arms up even though you're pushing your shoulders and your ribs down. One more time. Inhale up and exhale down. And then from here, inhale to prepare and exhale. And now bring your ball down past your face over and onto the front of your mat. Stretch into it. Drop your head. Inhale, gently straighten your legs, push your arms and exhale and then bend your knees, bring the ball with you if you're using and roll up, bringing it past your face and over your head. Inhale, rise up onto your toes. Exhale, put your heels down, bring your ball past your face, roll it down and forward to the front of your mat. Knees are soft and then when you breathe out, you straighten up, pressing your hands into the ball. Inhale, bend your knees and exhale and then bring it past your face and up overhead. Inhale, rise onto your toes and exhale and drop down onto your heels. Bring the ball past your face, stretch it to the front of your mat, knees soft. And on your exhale breath, you straighten your legs and then you can inhale, bring it in closer and I'll let theirs be in. And you're going to go over the top of your ball. So... Where you place your ball determines the difficulty of your exercise. How's it, Des? So, if you have the ball underneath your whole body, it's going to be easier. But if you take it to underneath your chest, you're going to work a little bit harder. You choose. But you're going to tuck your toes, exhale, straighten up over the ball so that you're resting in a plank. Your hands are out next to your sides. So you're going to fly as a fish eagle, pick your elbows up, spread your wings and exhale and then bring them back down again. So it's simple enough flying over the top of your ball, but check what you're doing with your head. Draw your chin in, lengthen the back of your neck, inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time, inhale up. And exhale back down again. Stop. Get off the ball. Give your coffee or your breakfast a chance to rest. 
when you go back out again, it's to stretch your arms out in front. So you're going to roll over and bring your fingertips up, drop your chin, chin down, press your shoulders into your back, breathe in, and then paddle one, two, three, four, five, stop, and exhale and lower down. Careful, inhale up, and exhale and paddle one, two, three, four, five, stop, and lower down. Exhale, extend, hold, push your shoulders down, paddle one, two, three, four, five, stop, put your knees down, roll back, get off the ball, give yourself a breath, and then when you go out again, you take your hands behind you so that you look like a lady on the front of a pirate ship, so you stretch out and you hold on to that keel at the back. Now you're going to paddle, drop your chin down, you're looking straight down into the waves, Take a breath in and exhale and paddle. One, two, three, four, five, stop. And exhale, lower your arms. Draw your chin in, inhale up. And exhale and paddle. One, two, three, four, five, stop. And exhale and lower down. Last one. And exhale up. Open up your shoulders. Project your chest and paddle. One, two, three, four, five, stop and then drop down onto your knees, and then everybody push your ball into the front so that you're in a shell stretch. So everybody's shoulders are different. You may hold on to the sides of your balls. You can even put your hands underneath the ball. You choose. But you're gonna drop down, hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, and then take a breath in, and exhale, roll the ball up, and sit back onto your heels so that you're in geisha sit sitting behind your balls. You can kneel up like an Anglican or a Catholican. It's entirely up to you. But now you're going to lie on your back, preferably with nothing underneath your head. Legs on top of the ball. And let's follow the lines that take us through to the more advanced moves. So have the ball right up against the back of your legs. Squeeze your legs together and have your hands next to your sides, palms facing up, shoulders open. Inhale to prepare and exhale to straighten your legs and then press the straightness of your legs against the ball and lift your hips up as you breathe out. Inhale, flex your feet and exhale and point your toes, squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, flex your feet. And exhale and point your toes and squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, flex your feet. And exhale and point to squeeze your toes. Hold it there as you breathe in. And exhale. And slowly roll back down again as you breathe out. Inhale, bend up your knees. And now move the ball a little bit further away from your legs. Bring your hands up to 90 degrees. Drop your chest and shoulders into the floor. So now you have less leg on the ball. Okay, guys, outside, 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 because I have to work. Okay. Your hands are up, your shoulders are down, and you take a breath in, and you exhale and straighten your legs, press them against the ball, and lift your hips up as you breathe out. And then inhale, take your hands overhead, flex your feet. Exhale, point your toes, bring your arms back up again. Inhale, hands overhead, flex your feet. And exhale and squeeze to point and bring your arms back up again. One more time. Inhale, hands overhead, flex your feet. And exhale and then point your toes and bring your arms back up again. Stop. Hold it there as you breathe in. And exhale and stretch all the way down and through as you breathe out. Inhale, bend up your knees. And now move the ball out to underneath your heels only. Take your hands overhead and lift your ribs and shoulders down. Take a breath in, exhale and straighten your legs, press them against the ball, lift your hips up as you breathe out, and then go inhale, hands up, toes up, exhale, point your toes, take your hands overhead, inhale, hands up, toes up, exhale, point your toes, take your hands overhead, inhale, hands up, toes up, and exhale and point your toes and take your hands overhead. Hold it there as you breathe in. And exhale 
and slowly roll all the way down and through as you breathe out. Yep, outside, thank you. That was fun. Off you go, outside. Right, now your feet are in the correct position to bend your knees all the way into your chest. Yes, I'm a very effective dog trainer, you can tell. So, place your little ball between your knees with your hands next to your sides. Come on, outside, 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 you too. Thank you, thank you, all the way, all the way. Right, so, with nothing underneath your head, because you're lifting your hips all the way up, you don't want to press your neck into the mat. So, keep your heels close. If you've got a wall or a cupboard nearby to brace the ball against, good idea. <clears throat> Take a breath in. Exhale and stand on the ball. Lift your hips up, squeezing whatever you have between your knees. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and then slowly roll back down again. Bring your arms out to dead cowboy. Inhale and exhale and stand on your ball. Lift your hips up as you breathe out. Dig your heels in, lift your toes. Hold, breathe in and exhale and then roll back down again. Next trick is to bring your arms up to 90 degrees. Drop your chest and shoulders into the floor and exhale and stand on the ball. Lift your hips up, hold, breathe in and exhale and roll back down again. Keep breathing if you're doing nothing else. Take your hands overhead, knit your ribs and shoulders down, and exhale and stand on the ball. Lift your hips right up as you breathe out. Hold it there as you breathe in, and exhale to connect, and slowly roll back down again. Right, put something nice underneath your heads, and pick up your hamstring stretches, and pop one foot into the hamstring. Rest the whole other leg on the ball. So don't skimp with that. Pull the ball right up close so that you've got one foot up in whatever and the other leg absolutely resting on the ball. And you're moving back and forth. And then you cross the middle line of your body, leaving your hips on the floor. You inhale, let it go and exhale and pull it up close. Keep your hips in the same place. Pivot that hip socket out to about 45 degrees. Soft knee, flexed foot, and inhale away and exhale up close. Two. Three. Have a fourth and then step down Give that leg a chance to absolutely relax, draped over the ball, and pick the other foot up into your loop. Drop your hips into the floor, push your heel, pull your toes back, and breathe. Inhale away, and exhale up close. Inhale away, and exhale up close. Inhale away, and exhale up close. Stop, keep your hips dropped. Cross the middle line of your body. Inhale and exhale. That exhale breath connects and contracts, so when you're breathing out, it's easier to bring your leg up closer. And then stop, swing it over to the outside, drop your hip into the floor, and inhale away, and exhale up close. Two, three, have one more, and exhale four. And then stop, take off, Take the ball out from underneath your legs, place it on the front of your quad. You can have a flat thing underneath your head, but if you were using a ball, take the ball out. Put your feet down on a long bend away from your body. Work with your legs together. It's that bundle of sticks theory that they're stronger together, so use them as such. And then roll the ball all the way up to your knees, so your arms are extended. The ball's practically resting in your fingertips. And then start with a nod. So draw your chin down when you breathe in. And then when you breathe out, push the ball up to the top of your knees. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and then slowly roll back down again. Inhale, nod. And exhale and push the ball up to the top of your knees. Hold it there as you breathe in. And exhale and then connect and slowly roll back down again. It's not far, it's a short break. So you inhale, nod, exhale, roll, stop, 
hold, breathe in, and exhale, and then connect, and slowly roll back down again. Moving with your vascular breath, you come up now to hold for five seconds. So you go inhale, nod, and exhale, and push the ball up to the top of your knees. <sighs> breathe in big, and hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, and then exhale and slowly roll back down again. <sighs> Inhale, nod your head against the mat and exhale and push the ball up to the top of your knees. <sighs> when you breathe in, you actually lift yourself up. <sighs> Hold one, two, three, four, five, and then exhale and slowly roll back down again. One more time with a hold. Inhale, nod and exhale and push the ball up to the top of your knees. <sighs> Inhale, expand. One, two, three, four, five, and then exhale and roll back down again. Pick the ball up <clears throat> over your chest. And now just working with proprioception and the idea that throwing and catching a ball is good for you. Push the ball up, let it go and catch it again. So you're throwing it up mind your house don't hurt anything precious so it's a little throw or a big throw mind the ceiling fans and you've got about 10 of those and it warms up your arms and works on all sorts of other things that we don't have to think about that are natural instinct and then stop and now when you roll the ball from side to side it rests in the cradle of your elbow Inhale, bring it up into the center, and then actually roll the ball along your forearm. It's not a heavy thing, but when you're using the tension in your arms correctly, anything can be that weight that you need to control. So even in a big empty ball is going to give you the work that you need across your shoulders and your chest. And then inhale, come back into the center, and then drop your chest and shoulders and there the roll pop stops. So you go inhale, hands overhead with your ball and exhale to roll pop stop, place the ball on your knees. Inhale back and exhale up two. Inhale back and exhale up three. Inhale back and exhale up four. Inhale back and exhale up five. Last one and exhale up six and then stop. Hold the ball over your chest and now choose your legs. You can pick one up, it's into tabletop and place the ball on the front of your quad. If you want more from the exercise, slide your bottom leg to straight. Push that heel down. You choose, don't hurt yourself, don't put yourself in a position that isn't comfortable. And then when you breathe out, push your knee into the ball and your hands into the ball so that you're creating a ball sandwich. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, squeeze, press, two. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, squeeze, press, three. Inhale, let it go. And exhale, squeeze, press, four. Step down, pick up the other leg. Do with the other leg what you did to the previous side, sliding it to straight, pushing your heel down or keeping it bent, foot flat. And here we go again. Exhale, find that equal pressure between your arms and your knee. Inhale, release. And exhale and press two. Inhale, release. And exhale and press three. Last one. And exhale and press four. And then stop. Pick up the original leg. And then inhale, take your big ball overhead. And exhale to roll, pop, stop, taking your leg to straight and holding the ball over your knees. Bring your knee in, take your hands over, and exhale and roll, extend, pressing the ball forward. Inhale, over, and exhale, roll, pop, stop, three. Inhale, over, and exhale, roll, pop, stop, four. Change sides, step down, lift. Inhale, ball over. Exhale, point your toes, extend into the very end of the muscle tips. Inhale, over. And exhale and stretch forward, long legs. Inhale, over. And exhale, extend, three. Last one. And exhale, extend, four. And then stop, roll down. 
And if you have a full roll up in you, you're welcome to do it. Everybody can do the preps. So you slide your legs to long and straight, squeezing them together. Take your hands overhead and exhale to roll and stop. You're just holding the ball over your pelvis. Don't go anywhere higher just yet. Inhale, ball over and exhale to roll and stop. Remember, every time you take your hands overhead, you should be keeping your ribs down and exhale to roll and stop. Now, we all know my roll up is abysmal, so don't watch, but you're expected to come up into a seated position. So the big ball goes overhead and you exhale to roll up and through and forward and you stretch into your Cosa Lady sits. So three each, you can hop up onto your um, ball so that you're seated on top of it. And the exercises are the same so that you're sparing the tightness in your lower back. Okay, good. Start with your legs quite wide. So your Cosa Lady sit is off mat. And then take a breath in and exhale and drop your head and push the ball all the way down and forward. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and then slowly roll back up again. Flex your feet, pull your toes up, push your heels down. And exhale and drop your head and roll the ball all the way down and forward. Hold, breathe in. And exhale and then connect and slowly roll back up again. Point your toes, breathe in. And exhale and drop your head and push the ball all the way down and forward. Stay stretched forward. And exhale and then slowly roll back up again. Pick the ball up or extend your arms if you're sitting on your ball and bring your legs closer together. So they don't have to quite be touching. You are stable against the floor and it's a little half roll back. So you pull your belly button back, you stretch your arms forward and you drop your head. Inhale and sit up straight, sitting right on top of your sit bones. Exhale and stretch your ball forward. Drop your head, pull your belly button back. Inhale and sit up straight. And exhale, yeah. navel to spine, ball stretched out in front. Drop your head and go one more time. Inhale, sit up straight. And exhale and take that half roll back. Inhale and sit up straight. Mm -hmm. And now exhale to roll back yeah. and gently turn. Be careful, it's a rotated twist. You are in a compromised position if you're not connecting your tummy muscles. So don't go too far and rather find where the strength is and work into that. Inhale up straight and exhale to twist. Inhale up straight and exhale to connect and twist. Last one on the other side. Inhale up straight and exhale to connect and twist. Inhale up. Place the ball underneath your legs and lie down again on your back. You can place something underneath your head. Soft balls if you've got one. And then roll the big ball far away underneath your heels. Literally, just the edges of your heels resting on the ball. And then when you breathe in, lift your arms up to 90 degrees. Bend your knees into your chest. Take your hands overhead. Drop them onto the floor. So this depends on your shoulders. Dead cowboy might be the order of the day. Pretty ballerinas, if you can get there. And you drop your knees open and you keep your feet together. And then gently drop your knees from side to side. So start off with a small rock. And then increase just along with the momentum. Until eventually you could twist so that your knees are dropping the ground on either side and you'll get a stretch all the way up to between your shoulder blades. And then stop and bring your knees together, lift your arms up to 90 degrees and bring your hands back down next to your sides. Legs go out to long and straight. Pull the ball up closer so that it's against the back of your legs. Take whatever you were using out from underneath your head and place it underneath your G-string triangle. So now your hips are up. You want to be able to balance and control whatever you've placed underneath your hips. So the flatter your ball, the better. 
If you're using yoga blocks or cushions, fold them up double. And then not for throwing and catching on the soles of your feet, but for the... You've got it, you've got it. When you breathe in, drop into a split. And when you breathe out, catch the ball between your ankles. Inhale, catch the ball with your hands. And exhale and squeeze your legs together. Inhale, open into a split. And exhale and catch the ball between your ankles. Inhale, open. And exhale and catch the ball with your hands. Inhale, open. Exhale, leg catch. Inhale, hand catch. Exhale and close. Breathe in, split. Breathe out, catch. Breathe in, hand catch. Breathe out, close. Breathe in, open. Exhale, leg catch. Inhale, hand catch. Exhale, close. Last one. Open and catch and catch and close. And then bend your knees, drop them into your chest. Place the big ball underneath your legs. Take whatever you have out from underneath your hips. Bring the ball right up close to the back of your legs. And we're going to do the hundred and shoulder bridge. Obviously, if you want a more difficult exercise, move the ball away from the back of your legs. But for the sake of form, having it closer gives you more control so you get a better workout. Take a breath in. Exhale, straighten your legs, press them against the ball, lift your hips up as you breathe out, draw your chin down, exhale and break at the breastbone and breathe in two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six, in two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six, sniff, blow, in two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six, in two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six. You're halfway. In two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six, in two, three, four, out two, three, four, five, six. Last one. And out two, three, four, five, six. Stop. Squeeze your legs together and slowly roll down as you breathe out. Inhale and bend up your knees and drop into the floor for a moment before you roll onto your side. Oh, not the face. Right, rolling onto your side, you can place your big ball or your small ball between your ankles, but you do need something underneath your head. You're gonna need that support. Yeah, what's this? Right, the slipper. Right, the slipper. Okay, so your best position is pike when you're lying on your side. You want to be able to angle your feet towards the front of your mat. And with a ball underneath your ear, this arm is extended. Feel how you're resting on your shoulder and your hip. And then to keep your balance, you can put a spider in front of your belly. And if you don't need to keep your balance that way, put your hand on your hip and stretch your top leg longer than your bottom leg. Keep your feet running along the line instead of holding onto the ball. And then when you breathe out, press your top leg down for a squeeze once. Exhale, squeeze twice. Exhale, squeeze three times. Exhale, press, squeeze four. Last one. And exhale, press, squeeze five. Inhale, move your body into a straight line and exhale now to lift and lower the ball. Inhale, lift and exhale lower. Inhale, lift and exhale lower. Inhale, lift and exhale lower. One more time. Inhale, little up and exhale, little down. I want to add the bends today just because they're good for your knees. So with your hands still on your hip and quite possibly in an even straighter line as you've gained more balance, you go inhale, lift, exhale, bend, inhale, straighten, and exhale and lower down. Be careful, don't go high, keep it close to the ground. So inhale, lift, and exhale, bend, inhale, straighten, and exhale, lower is a little less complicated than if you're lifting it right up into the air. It's a soft lift, exhale, bend, inhale, straighten, exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, up, exhale, bend, inhale, straighten, 
and exhale lower. Roll onto your backs. The leg that was on top now goes into the sitting like a man or the figure of four position. So roll the ball far away underneath your heels. Let your knee drop open. And then when you breathe out, pull the ball up. Hold the stretch. And then once you feel it starts to dissipate after about 10 seconds. So now roll the ball away and exhale and then pull it up again. And you'll find a different aspect of that muscle to stretch. So it's inhale away and exhale up close. Inhale away and exhale up close. Do one more pass. Inhale away and exhale up close. And then just hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let it go and roll onto your other sides. Four, ball between your ankles in a pike position, angled towards the front of your mat. Don't eat Pilates equipment. All right. So with your feet angled towards the front of the mat, you can have a spider balancing in front of your belly, or you can put your hand on your hip and make your top leg longer than your bottom. So for the work, Kim, not for the stretch. Yeah, roll all the way over. Feel how you're balancing on that shoulder and then exhale and press your top leg down and exhale and press two, exhale and press three, long legs on top so that you're moving out of your waist, four, and exhale and press five, you can move your body into a straighter line, and then keep the length, and then lift a little, and exhale and lower down once, millimeters is enough, Inhale up and exhale down twice. Every time you put the ball down, put it down further away from your hips. And exhale down four. And exhale down five. Stop. Move your legs back a little if you want to prep for the bends. And then inhale, lift and exhale, bend back. Inhale, straighten and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend back. Inhale, straighten and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend back. Inhale, straighten and exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend back. Inhale, straighten and exhale and lower back down again. Roll onto your backs and place your heels on the ball far away from your body. And then drop into your figure of four. You're sitting like a man stretch. Pull up for the first 10 seconds. Drop into it. You're stretching exactly where you've just worked. So you've got to give that lactic acid a chance to break off. And then you go inhale away and exhale up close. And because you're moving into the muscles, tendons, and ligaments, you're increasing that flexibility with every pass. So come on up for the fourth time. Hold. You can push your hand into your knee and stretch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then roll onto your sides and come up to kneeling behind your balls. So for your proposals, instead of just going to 90 degrees, take your foot further forward so that you've almost got a 45 degree angle from the knee down. Roll the ball in line with the foot and then put your body on the ball. So there should already be a stretch on the back leg. Never mind the twist for your pelvis. And then tuck your back toe and lift your knee and drop your hips back down again. Relax your shoulders. Don't pick the tension up into your neck. And keep dropping into your hips. Don't forget to breathe. And then change sides. Knee down. Step back. Proposal up 
at 45 degrees or beyond. Ball in line with your foot over the top of your ball. So now that foot and that knee is 90 degrees. Tuck your back toe, lift your knee and drop your hips back down again. Nice. Try and leave the tension where it is. Don't let it creep up and infest the rest of your body. One more breath. And you can put that knee down and everybody come up to a seated position on top of your balls. And we're going to do our wrist exercises before we go into the series of push-ups. So you've got a bunch of dangly fingers, your hands around your knuckle and your thumb, and you pulse your wrist up to the ceiling and you drop your elbow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change sides. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Face your palm to your face. Put your thumb on your ring finger knuckle and then turn your thumb into the room and press down against your wrist, dropping your elbow and relaxing your shoulders. Two, three, four, five. Change sides. Face and palm thumb, turn your thumb into the room and press down. One, two, three, four, five. Stop, shake it out. Do Liberace fingers, so interlace them, press them forward, bring them up and then stretch from side to side. You can move your hips as well so that you're getting more work for your waist. Last stretch over. Come back into the middle, bring your hands down, put the backs of your palms together, fingers ah. loose, and then press your elbows down. One more time. And then stop and shake out your hands. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, long nailed Balinese dancers. Are you dancing? That's nice. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Okay, going over the top of the ball, we're going to do three different kinds of push ups. We almost have time. So the first one is fingertips facing in. Roll over the top of the ball. You choose how much weight you're going to put on it. If your ball is nice and small, you can keep your toes resting on the ground. But for more work, you want to get that lift. Turn your fingers in towards each other. And then inhale, bend, kiss the floor, and exhale and press up, shoulders down, drop your chin into your chest. Inhale and exhale, press up two. Inhale, exhale, press up three, four, and the last one, five. Walk back, drop onto your knees, get the ball out from underneath your belly. When you walk out again, it's to have fingertips facing forward and it's your swan dive seesaw. So you roll over, take your hands way up in front, further than you think you possibly should. And then when you breathe in, put your elbows down. When you breathe out, lift your legs up. When you breathe in, put your legs down. And when you breathe out, pull yourself into a pucker push-up over your arms. Inhale, elbows down. Exhale, legs up, inhale, legs down, and exhale and pull over onto your arms. Inhale, elbows down, exhale, legs up, inhale, legs down, and exhale and pull over into a push-up. Last one, inhale, elbows down, exhale, legs up, inhale, legs down, and exhale and pull over into a push-up. Stop, and then walk back as you breathe out. And you can drop into a shell stretch behind your ball. But now instead of knees together, take your knees wide. Push the ball far out in front and drop into a wide knee shell stretch. Compare these shoulders and arms to the shoulders and arms from the beginning of the class. We didn't do a lot of arm work, but already there's a warmth, a flexibility that you can use to stretch a little better. 
then exhale slowly roll up bring your ball onto your lap and if you can hug around the circumference of it then do and then rest your cheek on one side and gently rock and rock and rock change cheeks to the other side try and shut out the world find your focus and then you can stop have a seat on your ball no that's not kind don't break my clothes thank you and you're going to finish with a nervous breakdown stretch so have a seat make sure that you've got a runway in front of you pick up your puppy if you have one and grow tall as you breathe in and exhale and tuck your pelvis then start moving your feet and roll back as you breathe out arms up and overhead you can drop into it straight legs or bent knees is entirely up to you and you can hold it there for a couple of breaths feel the world drift away <laughs> and try not to be distracted then bend your knees down to the front nod your head you can land on your bum or you can push all the way back up to seated and you're in your finished position thank you so much for coming to play with me and i look forward to seeing you next time <laughs>